Well, in the first place, any London journalist loves a good party, and Iris is now three years old, so I thought, having been at her birth, and at her second birthday, I would not miss her third, third time lucky. But, you know, we're very lucky in London, in the metropolitan metropolis that we're in. Uh, we take it for granted that uh, we have all these wonderful films and theatres and, and a wonderful gay life on our doorstep, but actually, beyond the metropolises, it's not so easy out there and um, I have great friends in Wales and I know it can be quite tough to be gay which is why I think it's particularly significant for somebody like me who's always in those ludicrous uh, pink power lists I think I was 31 this year or was I number six or 76 but it's very important that I give my support to something that's way beyond the trendy bars of Soho and, uh, and, and, and actually it's something that they can support in Aberystwyth or Carmarthen and uh, that's why I'm here for her third birthday and I can tell you this, if they invite me back I'll be here for Iris's fourth birthday next year as well. Well, I think Iris is beginning to really make her presence felt on the international film circuit because you can see now the entries are coming in from an all around the world, whether it's South America, Eastern Europe. And this is great for Wales, great for Iris, and I think it's a tribute to the organisers, nothing to do with me that, that the, the, the success now, the fame and the, uh, the, the, the attraction of Iris is such now that filmmakers are coming from all over. And I've already noticed here, in this third film festival, how many more people are coming in off the streets of Cardiff to watch the film. And that's fantastically encouraging. And I think it shows now that Iris is going to be a real player on the international stage. We're getting there already, and I think soon they'll be flocking to Cardiff, and they'll be say, thinking, who needs New York and London? It is tough because journalists think if the story doesn't happen within the M25, it's not a story. But I notice, I think I may have had something to do with it, that one of the judges this year is, the, is a Guardian arts critic. Well, that's great news, and we've got a former editor of the Gay Times, London. London is at the beginning of the universe, the centre of the universe, but we're dragging them out because they're hearing what's happening in the hills of Wales. Iris the drums are beating and the uh, drums are beating up and down the country now and I think that's fantastic you know we'll have a few judges next year maybe from that other swinging metropolis Edinburgh it's my next target